Well, Miss Sleepyhead finally woke up in the middle of the morning because she didn't sleep much last night also. And uh, we had to go out for a, a critical food run. Isn't that right, Mo? Critical. Yeah, critical. That's right. Survival food at its finest in Texas. Let me show you. Yeah, right there. That is a survival food center here in Texas. They have the most important things you need right there. Water burger. <laughs> so I got to put a water pump on my Toyota Tundra when Patrick and my uncle brought it to me at the airport. He said he had to add coolant and sure enough the front bearing and seal is going out in the water pump. So I need to stop and get one. Stopped in at O'Reilly's. I put on this mask before I went in. Not the guy helping me. He is really nice. But the other staff that was down at the end, at the counter, were down there wisecracking and making jokes about me wearing a mask. Pretty disrespectful. I was pretty ashamed of them. But the gentleman helping me wasn't like that at all. Yeah, the attitudes, man, it's just unreal. They're kind of goofy because they might think all oh, that virus ain't around, but they don't know where I've been. I know where I've been. I've been in Asia, <laughs> right? I've been on airplanes. I've been traveling. I'm, I'm not out of that 14 day period yet either. And uh, so I'm not just doing this for my own good. I'm doing it for their good as well. And that just shows the ignorance in this situation. That's why the virus really spread it there. They don't want to really catch uh, first yeah. because they're idiots. They're just all sitting there making jokes and laughing. It was three employees there at the end. And uh, just one employee, the one that was helping me, he, he wasn't that way at all. I could tell. I could tell he really didn't like them down there doing that either. Especially while he's helping me. So, uh, shame on them. Alright, I've got that mask off. Back in my vehicle. I stopped and got it off wiped down with alcohol man I wiped down everything I even wiped down my uh, bank card when I'm done I wipe it down man and with alcohol but it's just those those carefree attitudes you know man that's what gets me right there they're not even thinking of themselves oh, everybody just wants to make a joke like oh it's not here there's no cases in my town yet well hello I could be one of those people. I could be one of those people that walked in your door and gave it to you. Now, I took precaution before I went in there to them, and I'm feeling fine. We're on our what day now? 10 days. Yeah, we're on, we're on 10 days since we've been home. I don't know if that covered at 14 day mark is really accurate or not, but I mean, we feel fine, but who knows? Who knows, right? I just don't know. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about it all. Uh, I had to get a water pump for my truck. It was in and out. I was the only customer they had. Cleaned myself before I went in there. My hands, everything. So if I'm touching their doorknob and I touch nothing but the sack that they put my stuff in and my bank card and got right in the truck and wiped all that down and my steering wheel and everything as well. Anything I've touched so i mean and it might be all frivolous uh, but man this stuff's really spreading whatever people want to put out there negative or positive on it saying it's all make-believe or it's not you really want to take that chance so mel and i we're all about trying to help other people and uh we know they need rations they need food so cap him being a fellow Texan, he needs a certain kind of rations. Don't come any closer, man. Stay right there, Cap. I brought you emergency food rations. I'm gonna set it down right out here.
Okay, you can come get it now. That's right. That is Texas survival food. <laughs> All right, I'll have to ration this up. I scrubbed my hands with alcohol before I touched it, but I think I might have scratched my butt after then. I'm not sure. <laughs> You're welcome, man. <laughs> man, it's a windy day. Melinda's trying to move her little chicken truck that I built her before. She goes out each day with a four-wheeler, slides it to a new patch. You can see where they were there yesterday. Now they're on fresh. I already see them in there picking the grass and eating. They're happy. The camera slows it down, but boy, that wind generator is hauling butt. Here's my top notch security guard right here. Yes, Miss Girl protecting the family with her big old ferocious bark. And Mr. Blackjack, too, without his ferocious bark, he would just lick them to death. Yeah. Yes, yeah, good doggies. Good doggies. Thank you, girl. Thank you for. Blackjack, quit trying to steal the camera light. Thank you, girl, for all your hard work you put in at night. Yes. Hey, I'm excited. I'm excited. I just got a phone call. I got a delivery truck sitting out here. So let's see what he's got in here for me. guys right here these are soldiers right now boy they're out here making these deliveries keeping our commerce alive during this hard time so you gotta appreciate these guys out here hustling right now all right so he got that pilot unloaded I'm gonna take my tractor around there, pick it up, and let's see what came in in those boxes. Like Mike said out there just then, what kind of shenanigans am I up to this time? Yeah, let's see what kind of shenanigans in that box. Load it up here. I'm gonna head on around here with it and get out of this wind. Pull it inside the barn right there. And let's see what kind of shenanigan, as Mike said. Let's see what kind of shenanigan I'm up to. Yeah. My viewers, my subscribers, all you wonderful people. Y'all should have a good guess what kind of shenanigan I would be up to. You should know my hobbies. So what's the guesses? What's the guesses here? What's inside this magical big box? It is kind of like a box of magic for sure if I give you a clue. Well, we'll get it inside this barn here. And let's see what kind of magic is in this box. All right, here it is, here it is, here it is right here. So uh, right now, tell me what your guesses are. Tell me what you think is inside right there. 
Boy, I'm going to hope there's no damage. Probably should have checked it for a driver left. I just hate to hold them guys up right now. But tell me what you think it is. You commenters that are really quick at commenting. Throw, you, throw your guesses out there right now. All right. I grabbed me an old pair of scissors here to cut this banding with. While I'm cutting it, y'all be thinking about what is inside of here. What is James's shenanigan? Let's check this out and see. Well, y'all ready? You ready to see what magic is inside this box? Yep, the shenanigan, the magic. Look at it, boy, the lid just gonna blow off. Woohoo! And it just did a reveal without me. <laughs> Yeah, the wind is kicking here today. Some of you already know, you knew instantly the second your eyes laid on it. And some of you, maybe you still don't know. Well, it's not an easel. It's not chalkboard. No. You don't know, maybe you'll know when you recognize the other side of it. Don't want the wind to catch it though. Ha ha ha, yes, there it is. There it is. Look at the magic. Magic laying all right in there. Yep, there it is. Uh. The shenanigan right there. That's my shenanigan. Mike, there it is right there. I bought 10 additional solar panels to go with the ones that I already have because it's time to get that MPP Solar low voltage LV5048. That means 5,000 watts. And that means 48 volts on the DC. It's time to get this baby going. And I wanna run the max amount of solar that that particular inverter can handle so I can get the maximum uh, bang for my buck right there. So there's 10 of these panels plus the ones I already have. So so that'll have me right at maximum if my math is right. And uh, we should be cooking hot. Yeah, the air conditioner should just flow nice and cold for this summer and the meter just be ah! That's the plan, that's the plan. Start earning that money right back. Sooner I get them up, sooner I earn that money right back. So, uh, now you know what my shenanigan is. You should have known. You know I'm a solar nut. Man, even my wind generator. Listen to it sing outside. It's like I keep this big old floodlight right here as resistance on that wind generator when it don't have a load on it. And uh, man, look at it. That sucker is putting out some juice. It is. Look at that. You'll see that light flux with the wind speed. I'm back happy now because James got a toy come in. Yeah, James got a toy come in. I've got more solar panels and another system I'm play with and be putting together and learn, teach, share, and once again, strive for total self-reliance.